Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing episode 29. Uh, this is gonna be one of my favorite episodes and we're gonna do a three part low kick system. And the first episode, we're gonna focus on holding with the pads. And one of my favorite ways to hold and I call it a single pad drill. So um, back with Matt Special for this video. And the way Matt's gonna hold is you're gonna have your partner, if he holds, turns this way. Um, he's gonna hold the, the pad with the handle at the hip. You really wanna focus on hitting up on the higher part of the leg. A big mistake people make is they hold too low. So let's get the pad holding at the hip. So to start the low kick in the most basic way is to start with a center line step. I'm gonna show you three different variations. And for this part, I'm gonna have Matt just standing his ground. And it's gonna be me stepping in to get power and me exiting, which is the key to a good low kick. So. The big mistake that people make when they first come is they stand right in front of the target, they kick and they stand here. Um, you're not gonna get any power, there's no transfer of weight in the footwork, and you're never gonna have a good solid low kick that's gonna do any damage. So the first thing I need to do is step. So I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna be slightly on the ball of my foot, a little bit of space between my heel. I don't wanna be completely fat, flat on my foot. I'll show you different variations um, near the end of the episode. But the most basic, I'm stepping on the ball of my foot, lengthening my stance. With a lengthened stance, I get more power. I relate it to swinging a baseball. If I'm trying to hit a home run in baseball, if I have a little short swing like this, it's more of a chopping, it's more of that bunt. Um, when I'm looking for a home run, I need to be able to load up my swing, get full rotation in my hips. So, when doing these steps, I want you to remember there's different ways of throwing it. So when I step on the ball of my foot, I'm hitting more with my instep. I can step, hit deeper with my shin. Everywhere you hit with a different place on the shin will give you a different effect. So the first one is a center line step, instep. That'll be my setup low kick. You're, you're gonna notice when I do my setup low kick, there's not much pivot on this front foot. The reason why there's no pivot, I wanna stay defensive here so I can hit you and stay defensive or I can mix up my punches really quickly. So not that much of a pivot on that setup. And I'm hitting with the bottom of my foot. So this is my setup low kick. Okay, now to get a different effect, I'm gonna step a little deeper and I'm gonna add a little pivot now. Okay. Now I have two options. I can step and pivot with my kick. So I'm stepping straight foot pointing forward. I'm not stepping this way. I'm not stepping out this way yet. So I'm stepping here and I pivot. I'm stepping in, hitting with a different part of my shin, all different effects. So I have center line set up. I have center line pivot. And my third one is I'm gonna step into a pivot. Automatically opens up my hips. So first one, I stay centered, I don't pivot, my setup. Pivot on the second, and my third, I'm stepping on my heel. This way I get a nice round kick built in, and I'm gonna just mix the three. So that's the one variation. Now, again, I want you to really remember, finish, versus setup low kicks. And I'm gonna really show a little bit more detail what that means before I show you angles. So setup, I can hit high, middle, or low. I have three options of where I wanna hit. And the key is, you wanna find the one that's doing the most damage and be repetitive. So if I'm hitting this target, <laughs> I wanna keep focusing on it. I'm hitting it with my setup. When I know the leg's there, boom. I can step in and get more effect on that low kick. So center line stepping. The other option you have to get more damage with the low kick, not only changing the placement on your shin is, but changing the angle. If I want a quicker low kick, which again, I'm gonna use that word set up low kick, I'm not gonna bring the kick as round. By bringing the kick rounder, it, it opens me up a little bit more with my defense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with my angles I might change the angles of my kick, all different effect. So now I have a step I can change. 
I have where on my shin am I landing and what angle am I throwing the low kick. So when someone says throw a low kick, really there's hundreds of different variations you can do based on where you even hit on the leg. If you hit higher up near the hip, it's going to do different type of damage than when you're going to do throwing the knee. So find what works, play around with it, use different parts of your shin, different cut down, different angle. That's why the low kick can be used in so many different variations. Okay, so that's the first part, get a good solid line stepping. The second one now is I'm gonna take my angle. So if I use a line on the floor, so if I use this line in the mat, right, my center line stepping, I'm stepping on the line. I'm kicking, I'm stepping back. You gotta remember, I like to use this T line. So I'm stepping over, center line, kicking, and back. So I'm adding an enter and exit, and I'm using a straight center line. Now, what I'm gonna do for this variation is I'm gonna step outside to the left of center line. This way it gets my head off center line, so if someone's throwing a nice punch, you can get your head off center line and it's gonna give a different effect. So again, I can use those three different steps I talked about in the first series. No pivot, step to pivot, and step into the pivot. So the three different variations. So I'm stepping off to the line. Playing with the different angles of my shin as well. Okay, if Matt comes this way, I'm gonna do some of the angles. You can probably see me step off to the side and get more angled power. I'm gonna mix these now, this angle, now you see it, I'm just gonna mix them with my first set and then let them flow. So center line, as well as stepping to the left, flowing with different types of variations. Hey, the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the right of the center line. So I have center, left. This one here, I'm gonna step off on this back foot and then crack the right leg. So if Matt's here, I'm gonna step out with my back foot, change my angle, and then now I have a nice solid outside attack with my low kick. So back foot steps out, chop. All right, now we're gonna do the drill where I'm gonna mix in all of them. So I'm gonna mix in sometimes center, sometimes stepping out, sometimes take my right side angle, and we're gonna move a little bit more now. So Matt's gonna move, circle around, and I'm gonna find my low kick timing. Okay, not very, it's gonna be still very stationary, not too much of movement, very subtle. You can see I'm constantly keeping my distance. Very subtle movements. 